Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'll be teaching you about ant colony optimization and I'll teach you how to make it in Python. So let's get started. What are algorithms? First off, before, you know, we we say anything else, they are a repeatable list of of almost they are almost a completely repeatable list and an algorithm is a very clear list for doing stuff for doing stuff. Where, what is ant colony optimization? Ant colony optimization is an algorithm for problems which can be reduced to needing to find a good path. What does ant colony optimization do? Ant colony optimization is designed to replicate the movement of an ant colony, hence the name. It searches for an optimal solution for a problem. Where is ant colony optimization used? Ant colony optimization was, was used to solve graph problems by investigating possible paths. So. So today we're gonna have to, so today I'll be explaining all the code. I will put it in the description. So what we're gonna so we're gonna start off with the GUI. Um, this will be graphical. So you know. So first we have to import some uh, libraries. Import model. Don't worry, we will cover it after this one. So we're just gonna import the model to be used as a base reference. We're gonna import Pygame for the screen. To import everything from pygame.locals, we're probably gonna need it all. Um, from time, we're gonna need to import sleep um, for for timing and arg parse as just um, as error checkers. So we're gonna make a class first that's called scream. So we're gonna have to make a function that initializes a bunch of um, a bunch of necessary th variables that we will need. So right here for like a bell. Yeah, so basically for all of this right here, all of these are just uh, being initialized. Um, other than maybe these, but these are just to set the the color of the pie game. So we're just gonna initialize the pie game and we're gonna keep it at, and the self dot open, we're gonna keep it as false for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the font and we're just gonna draw the text on the screen. And so if we draw the rectangle, so we're just going to draw a rectangle at these coordinates right here that we uh, specified right up here, S, Y, X, and those. So we specified that somewhere up there. So we're just going to use the blit. We're just going to blit them onto the screen and then we're just going to return the font size. So we're just going to, so this is a, how to start the screen. We're going we're gonna to self dot window. What we're going to do is we're going to make a pie game dot display. We're gonna have to set the set the size to the screen length and the screen um length. The screen length, yeah, both. So and then this is just the caption as in like the header name, I guess, title of the window. So we're just gonna fill it fill it with uh we're just gonna fill the pie game with a white screen. And then X is just gonna be the margin that we set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the corner of the cell right here for I and J in range for self dot L. And then we're just gonna blit that. Um then the ant hill coordinates, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the corner um of the cell once again using an array. And we're just gonna change the inner rectangle color to brown. Now we're just gonna blit the brown color to the screen. And we're gonna have to set the food after now. So we're gonna have to get the the corner of the cell once again, same thing, but instead of brown, it's green. And to update the screen, we just we're just gonna update the screen, and then we're just gonna uh, do self dot open so we so we can actually open the thing. So now we're just gonna get now we're just gonna get a function that open that gets the pie game corner of cell once again. Uh, so the position x is cell x times uh, self dot element size and border size plus self dot margin pause position y is, is equal to l minus cell y minus one and then we just do the same thing that's up here just differently and we just add this to make it um vertical so this is just to change the inner rectangle color all of this is just to change the color right here and this is just to um otherwise just keep it as the keep it as the inner rect so, this is how we update the score of how many round trips there are. So the position says is draw text, and then we draw the text of round trips, 
and we basically filter all of this in so every time they go back and forth that counts as a round trip uh so update pheromones basically what we do is if there is no self.anthill or self.food then they grab the corner of the cell and then they set it to 255 round and the pheromones just means uh, and pheromones are what ants release to tell go this direction so the more pheromones there are the more i guess noticeable or more preferred um the others are so they change the inner rectangle color to rgb uh they blit the every they blit everything and this is how they update the ants so what they do is they um they do yeah exactly the same thing um other than instead of uh pheromones it is ants so pretty self-explanatory it just sets how many ants there are and this is a listen for um if there is a exit like how you would press like x on a windows if you press on like a like a window and then it says x whenever you press x or you press um escape here in my case because i set it to that or alt f4 one of the two so it just quits the game and it closes the window and then it just checks for a positive um th these are all just uh, error checkers so this just raises an argument that says that the argument has to be positive if you do set it like a negative number um said right here and this is just a check if the argument is between a zero and a one if it is not then it will throw the argument right here and these are just uh descriptions uh the default is 10 for the side size of the world number of scout scout ads are um f width and then 10 times width and then 0 0.7 for all of these so um these are all just uh do like doing all the settings that it said here default 10 width like everything here and the world and we'll just use the model.world here um as a base model i guess and here it like sets the world with and hill and food and it starts the screen and while it's opened it loops the world updates the ants at the ant ants number for cell updates the score and checks how many people brought food or ants brought food so it just updates the display listens for um any issues up there that i showed you and this is right here it sleeps for 0 0.16 seconds, so it runs a 60 FPS lock. And now let's move on to model.py. So here we're just gonna import some math. We're gonna import math, and then we're just gonna import random. So what we do is we first initialize um, all, all that we specified at the bottom. Uh, these are all just uh, uh, like declaring what they are. Uh, the probably most uh, worth thing to explain right here is this and this is checking for how many pheromones there will be and so this is the these are a lot just uh calculations and stuff like that so the ant hill and the food plus the ant hill and the food it, as long as it's lower than if it is or while it is if it's lower than self dot width then this will happen it'll just keep on getting a random number and then self dot ants we're just gonna leave it empty so for i in range we're just gonna take a new ant we're gonna make a new ant spawning in an ant right here and then self dot ant hill will be where it spawns and right here the same thing but instead of a uh, worker ant it's scout ants and then real optimal distance is um just to set the position and the final position for each and while position is not the final position, if the position is not equal to the final position, uh, basically just goes position zero plus position zero equals position zero plus one. Once again, same thing right here. And so if the, I'm just gonna call this length real equals length real plus one. So we're just gonna return uh, our, length, our new length real and are returning ants number per cell, which means how many ants are coming back to the ant hill every cell, is um, zero for every one, for every i in range of self dot width. And right here, ants number, this is to specify uh, how many ants that are returning at the exact same time. So 
just returns the number and yeah so ants number per cell that means how many there are in in the cell that's specified so once again same thing um yeah it's basically copied and pasted but we just return it back and we list the authorized cell around the ants that the ants can go to so if the so returning means that if the ant dot returning pretty self-explanatory right there um so basically right here is um basically just uh st standing everything stating everything and right here is a lot of calculations and if it's not returning if it's not at the ant hill or not at the food and it's just gonna return to cells list that it can jump to choose interesting cell around that means it depends on the amount of pheromones there are so ants equals self dot ants ant number that means how many in numbers of ants there are and the decision is none so the pheromones zero so the pheromone sum is zero and the possible decisions it looks at this right here the list authorized cell and it and it goes for iron range possible decisions it basically as long as it's not doing as long as not and uh, as long as it's not returning at the food or at the ant hill then it will make a decision on x and y and then it'll break or else it will just simply pheromone sum plus equals self dot pheromones just adding more pheromones and if there's and decision if decision is not one none then it will return a decision probabilities ri li list uh, it will just none for as long as it's in the range of possible decisions. Pheromone sum is, sum is zero. Um, the decision number will be a random in, integer uh, with the possible decisions minus one. Decisions is just possible decisions with the array of decision number. And otherwise, the property will be zero. The random number will be um, out of 100. Zero to 99 divided by 100. Um for i in range it's just gonna it's basically the same thing up there we just uh yeah so it's just gonna return the decision so this is to move the ants itself so for i in range self dot ants ant type equals one uh let go worker ants that means if the working worker ants will go and find the food it will it will just check what visited cells it found and otherwise elif else if um if they're not returning if they're not at the ant hill and if they're and well if they're returning sorry um so they're just gonna move x or move y not zero they're both gonna move zero so this is just gonna add self dot ants plus dot x plus j so for every k in range it's gonna go new y new y plus self dot ants plus y plus k well equals so self plus ants and once again if it's returning and if it's doing all that then move x equals move equals j and move y equals k okay so well move x and move y are equal to zero or if they're less than zero or if there, or if um, self dot ants plus y plus move y is less than zero, or basically the same thing repeating over and over again, it's just gonna move x random number, either it's gonna move um negative one up the board, or it's gonna move uh, one up the board, or around the board. So it's just gonna add another one right there. So it's just gonna change the ant state, and this is where we specify the ant state. So if this if the ant number is equal to the self dot food and if self dot ants equals ant number dot y so it's just going to check and it's just going to set it's returning to two i mean true and it's just going to reset the visited cells and otherwise and lf else if um self dot ants equals zero until zero and y equals until one um just gonna kind of keep on looping all the way to here and then it's just gonna let the the answer ant ant workers go and if it brought food then it's just gonna add the brought food to the variable that we had up up there so the common pass number right here this is just to um set the 
a common path that people are taking. Well, not people, but ants are taking. And it's just going to set their turning to false, then reset the visited cells. And it's just going to leave all the pheromones three. This is the another function. So basically, this is just uh, n uh, just checking the... Well, it's setting the ants number to the amount of returning ants per cell. And it's just going to set the pheromones to minus self.decrease rate, which was the decrease rate that we set for pheromones. Uh, leave all pheromones four. It was, it's about the same. No, not really, but. So it just adds a one, it added pheromones, it checks if you can add it. And then if it is one, then it'll add, then it'll add a pheromone up right there. So for I in range, self.pheromones will decrease the one minus self dot decrease rate so yeah and common pass number right here if the pound is the path is found then it will set the path to true if the path is found it will set it to true uh it'll loop it'll just keep on doing the convergence leave all pheromones and move ants and this is the class ants this is a this is the end uh this is going to initialize the ants type and the ant hill coordinates uh, self dot ant type will be um, equal to ant type. So if self dot ant type will equal to zero, then it will just be set to scout, and else, and in and after it will just be set to worker, unless this doesn't happen. If this doesn't happen, and then ant hill coordinates, if it's returning, it well it's not returning, and then it will just reset the visited cells. Uh, this is what it looks like whenever you do run it and here's the demo of it working right here and it's GUI as you can tell it is looking and just like that it has found a route it probably will optimize itself after a little bit but for the time being it will just keep on looping back and forth so basically we just kind of wait here for a bit and yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video uh this this is what you can create after all of that uh yeah so yeah see you guys later